Any thoughts on the technology side? So you touched on it a moment ago, but what technologies are you seeing that are making a difference to your operations? And whilst we're on the theme of technology, not just the technologies you're seeing, but what are you excited about in the future? What, what are some pain points you still feel can be addressed by founders out there? So I, I have found that having having just from the main kind of center point of technology and how it it works with property management is starting with your property management software if if that is something that is very user friendly for both the residents and the employees and owners then that makes a huge difference. I've been on both sides of it. I've had really bad property management software, and then I've had really good property management software. Um, and so that makes a huge difference, and there can be substantial um, cost variations. So that's a huge thing. Um, I also have found that finding software and technology that can keep as much in under one umbrella is really important because the more you have to try to get a resident or employee to sign up for 10 different things, um, 10 different services or programs, that's more, that's 10 passwords, 10 logins, it just becomes cumbersome. And I think that they start to not want to deal with it it's i think simplicity is a big deal and that's that's a big role of technology is to make people's lives easier not create more clutter so i would say the more that technology firms and companies could try to integrate things together um, that would i think help adoption rates and um, daily users go up exactly and i've said this before in another episode, a startup can come up with the most beautiful UI, UX, really mm -hmm. strong value proposition, great AI in the back end, and delivers real value. But if it doesn't connect to the property management system, if it doesn't fit into the natural workflow of the end customer and user, it's not going to gain any adoption. Retention is going to be terrible and uh, it might be a deal blocker. You can't get your foot through the door if you're not integrated. I, I think property managers, and you can correct me here if, if I'm wrong, but I think property managers don't just, it's not about the cost. It's about the savings and it's about making life easier. The mental burden of having to have another damn login and password is just, it's just not worth the stress. And there's more yeah. to manage and more can go wrong when you have these uh, technology solutions that if they're not used correctly, they can also cause damage. Right, no, I, I could not agree more. And as we we all know, if you're in this business, there are a million different products now. And you're always getting emails of, hey, I have this new product for lowering vacancy or this or that. But the, the fact is, especially if you have a mid to um, larger size company, if you decide to undertake one of those kind of products, it's a big undertaking between training and integrating and getting it to actually be used all the way down on the property level. Um, so it's a, it's quite a lot of work. And so having it integrated with whatever the current property management software is and sort of as an easy add on, that makes a huge difference because it becomes Hey, here's where you here's where you click once you log in. Here's how you use this feature. It's not oh you've got to go to a whole different application and jump through all these login hoops. So that would be a big recommendation on my end of kind of real world usage is if you can work with some of the larger um, property management software companies to get your project product integrated, then I think the the usage would go up dramatically. Yes, and if you're not in prop tech and you're a venture capitalist coming into real estate, it's a common mistake to invest in a company that doesn't have a good distribution channel. And distribution channels are critical here because you're relying on the gatekeepers, the big software management uh, companies, and they are not easy to work with. 
integrating yeah. into them can take a lot of work and some of these companies are in need of disruption you know <laughs> they're, they're not the most friendly towards startups which is a, a difficult place for startups to be in prop tech and i you know i, I it's easy to blame the industry as uh slow and old-fashioned but the gatekeepers are very powerful and they are part of the reason why prop tech is taking off but not taking off in the way it really has the potential to i agree and it can i think for a a smaller prop tech firm um, that's trying to get their prod product out there and show its unique value i can also see because i've seen it happen you take that idea and try to integrate it with a major um, software company they start thinking yeah well we could do some variation of that and it comes out kind of themselves it, it's happened to me or i've seen it happen with just something as easy as e-signing it it wasn't a feature on our property management software and so we looked at using a different company because it was so necessary next thing you know you look up and the management software has their own e-sign feature now so it's just i can see how that can be very tough for a kind of prop, prop tech company to really get going um, and make a, a big splash. And Tyler, I'm so glad you said that. If I if I said that, I, I might sound quite negative as a, a pessimistic VC, which is not what, it's not fashionable. You need to be very optimistic if you're gonna be in my shoes as an investor. But to, to hear the reality, and um, I haven't seen this in many industries, maybe in healthcare a little bit, where you've got Epic and Mercer and all these other large uh, mm -hmm. systems, right? That are gatekeepers. In real estate, in other, in other industries, I really encourage startups to be loud about their roadmaps and blueprints. And I, I still do trend towards that ideology, you know, openly share your idea. But the problem is, when it comes to moats and barriers to entry, the property management software companies are very powerful. And they can and do steal ideas and implement them. Uh, look, maybe it was on their roadmap, right? And it just happened to ship coincidentally. But it's pretty scary. I've thought about starting my own prop tech startup, you know, many times, and it always comes down to, oh, I'm gonna to have to integrate with Yardi and Charter and all these other wow. software platforms and Appfolio. And what stops them from getting one of their engineers or two to implement this feature in, you know, record time and get mass distribution for it? Nothing. Nothing does. You're hoping that they'll be slow, or you're hoping actually this is weird to say, but you're hoping they will just keep being difficult to work with so that they're replaced by something more, you know, friendly. But this is a this is a challenge in the middle layer of PropTech, right? This is the middle layer of the middleware here. The right. distribution channel. It's tough. Well, Tyler, this has been um, really fun. Really appreciate this. We do have a lot of um, investors that listen to this and also, guess what? A lot of PropTech startups that will be eager to email you. Um, <laughs> but if, if someone wants to partner with you guys or you know hire you guys as a property management firm, could you spell out the best way for them to contact you? Yeah. Um, first of all, thank you for having me. And we are... In, in the same vein, we're always looking for ways to make life easier, not only for our employees, but for our owners, investors, and ultimately the residents. And so seeing a lot of disruption and great new ideas coming out of the the prop tech kind of industry and it's really exciting to see those changes and so many more options and it'll be fun over the coming years to see see kind of what really takes off what doesn't and um, see kind of who some of the new big players and where trends are going because it's seems to always be changing year after year it's something new in in real estate and i think technology is going to become more and more intertwined with real estate so excited about that and for any more information on barge properties and what we are doing um, you can just visit our website at www.bargeproperties.com and of course if uh, 
if you'd like to discuss anything further, I'd be happy to. And my email is on the website and um, I definitely look forward to it. Thank you. And that's B-A-R-G-E properties.com. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.